Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to do something that's very simple. Um, it's way before the level which um, most of my subscribers are at, but um, nevertheless, I suppose it would be quite interesting for some um, people who are new to the scene. So today what I'm going to do is simply solder up an, a new Arduino Nano. Um, so the Arduino Nano is what I'd recommend for people who are new to Arduino. And the reason being, without going into too much depth, um, it has a built-in UART. So this little chip you can see here on the, my left is the UART and basically what it means is that you don't need an external module to be able to uh, communicate with this this chip. Um, it's all, all on board. So for a starter I definitely recommend this Nano. Anyway, so let's solder it up. I brought this over here to show you because this is brilliant for um, for soldering. I'd highly recommend it. However, for this particular uh, module and these Arduinos, I don't use it. The way I do it is a bit different. I would, um, I think I'll zoom in here first. The way I would do this is to uh, push these in. I'll just break this off. Hang on a minute. Break it off there. Push it in. Oops, I've done one too many. Hang on. They don't usually do that. Um, usually they send you exactly how many um, pins you need. But anyway, push it in there like that. And then push it into a breadboard. So I'll just do that again. At least it's okay to, um, to have too many pins. If you break off too few pins, it gets a bit tricky. So, push the pins in the, in the little holes like that, and then I usually push it into the breadboard like that, and I use this as a guide for soldering. Right, is this going to focus? There we go. So, I'll start up my soldering iron and um, warm it up. The things you'll need to do this is uh, solder. Sometimes you need a uh, flux, and of course you'll need a soldering iron. My one's a gas-powered soldering iron, but um, you don't have to use a gas one. You can use any soldering iron, um, and they will all well. Generally speaking, they'll all work. So you need a, a low-power one. A low-power one will do this perfectly well. So I'll just wait for my soldering iron to heat up and we'll get started. So I've zoomed in a little bit more so you can see better and hopefully this will work. So I make sure I've got plenty of slack on the solder, plenty of excess and then the aim is to simply heat up the pad and the pin at the same time just gently for a couple of seconds push the solder into it then let go and pull it upwards. Um, I usually work in sort of a circular motion going around the uh, the board heat them both up like this And you can see that it's giving very nice um, joints. If you look on um, tutori tutorials and stuff, they usually say the shape is like a mountain shape. You know, from the uh, pad to the top of the pin forms like a nice triangular sort of mountain. Um, and that's what we're trying to achieve. If the joints are too wet, they sort of glob up into a ball and um, that's not at all what we want okay let's move on to the other side now if you do it too hot what I find tends to happen is that it burns it goes black and sometimes you can damage the PCB 
and other times it just gets really dirty and then it prevents you from doing a nice job. Oops, I've not quite got the angle there. Just need to bend this solder. Yeah, if you um also if you put too much solder on, it makes a little bit of a mess. And if you don't put enough solder on, you don't quite get that perfect um, mountain or triangle like shape on the pad. So it does take a bit of practice. Move the board up again. And I'll get a bit more solder. And in a few seconds, I'll just check that I've done all of these properly. So I think that's done there now. I've got to do that as well, but I'll do that in a minute. So I'll just leave the soldering iron on for a second. Good, 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 good. Ground. Uh, this one here is not quite perfect, but I'll just do that one again. I didn't put enough solder on. There we go. That's good now, and then over here, in the top row, good, good, D10 is not quite perfect, D8 is not quite perfect either, so I'll just give those a little bit more solder, D8, there we go. So that's all of those pins done, and now I'll move over to this one. Okay, I've just given my soldering iron a quick clean. What I usually do is just get is just uh, gently knock it, very gently like that. Just on the, um, I don't knock the the tip. I knock the edge on the desk, and um, any excess solder just uh, falls off the tip. And then what I usually do is, uh, well, a lot of people use um, like brass, um, like a brass scourer, and wipe it off. I don't actually do that. I, I just uh, I wipe it off with the metal, well not always, but most of the time I just gently scratch it off. Um, I believe it's better for the tip, but then what do I know? Anyway, so the next piece uh, here. So the way this goes, or generally, is that that goes like that on the top, and it's the same old trick. Whoops. Same trick, just push that in there and then make it accessible. I would start from this one because that will be the most difficult one after all the others are done. That one's done. Yeah, I generally I generally solder the most awkward pin first. Of course you don't have to do that. The other thing as well is um, soon I'm going to do a video on how to solder but it's going to be a bit of a, a strange one because I've noticed that you look on YouTube of videos on how to solder. Oh look I've just made a mistake there. Just a tiny bit too much solder. Yeah, the videos on how to solder and people say you, you have to do this, you have to do that but actually you don't have to do anything. You, you can I mean, I've just learned to do it on my own, and I've done it probably hundreds, if not thousands, of times now, and it's been very successful. But a lot of people say, "Oh, you have to do do this. You have to do that. Uh, if you don't do this, it won't work." Blah blah blah. It's not really like that. But anyway, um, I'm going to do soldering tutorials uh, probably in a few weeks. And um, yeah, I bought this thing from China, and it's a, an eyepiece, a magnification eyepiece. Uh, it's for jewellers and stuff like that. But I thought I'd blue tack it to the lens of my camera uh, so that I can do super, super close up magnified shots. So, anyway, here we can use it to inspect my work. So, you can see that TX1, RXD, RST, ground, D2, D3, D4 are all perfect. And then this side. Ooh, he 
six. It's just about got there. And there you go. And this, as for this side, where's the one that I did too much solder? This one here. Oh, I can't even point, but whatever. So anyway, that's um, a video for absolute beginners on soldering up an Arduino Nano, or in fact any Arduino for that matter. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. Bye!